Ahmadinejad's Iran, and I use this term to distinguish it from the people and publics of Iran who are otherwise the targets of mass domestic repression, has emerged not only as a danger to international peace and security, but as a massive danger and threat to its own citizens. Indeed, what we are witnessing in Ahmadinejad's Iran, and this is the only place where we witness this, is a toxic convergence of four distinct and interrelated dangers. The danger of a nuclear Iran, the danger of state-sanctioned incitement to genocide, the danger of state-sponsored terrorism, and most dangerously, an unmasked since the fraudulent elections, but there before the persistent, pervasive, and pernicious assault on human rights in Iran. Let there be no mistake about it. Iran is in standing violation of the obligation not to develop nuclear weapons. Iran has already committed the crime of incitement to genocide prohibited by the Genocide Convention. Ahmadinejad has appointed as his defense minister a man, Ahmed Vahidi, who is responsible for the greatest terrorist atrocity committed in Argentina since the end of the Second World War and is the object of an Interpol arrest warrant. And the Iranian regime is the author of widespread and systematic attacks on the Iranian people. Arrests, beatings, torture, rape, murder, disappearances, executions, extrajudicial executions, juvenile executions, the whole overladen with Stalinist show trials, coerced confections, in other words, the whole constituting crimes against humanity against the Iranian people. And all of this is accompanied by an Orwellian culture of impunity. The perpetrators go unpunished and the innocent are not only assaulted but criminalized. Ahmadinejad's appearance at the UN shames the cause of human rights and shames the founding ideals of the United Nations. Ahmadinejad does not belong at a podium of the United Nations. He belongs in the docket of the accused. Bringing Ahmadinejad to justice is not a policy option. It is an obligatory, an obligatory legal and mandated responsibility. The time has come, indeed it has passed, to stand up for freedom in Iran, to stand up for human rights in Iran. And so we say no to a nuclear Iran, no to a genocidal inciting Iran, no to a terror sponsoring Iran, no to crimes against humanity in Iran, but yes to a free Iran, yes to a democratic Iran, and yes for human rights for the people of Iran. Thank you.